Adiós. <risa> Bukidnon's treasure and pride is not just about lush greeneries and astonishing landscapes. Its own homegrown vibrant culture has something deep to offer as well. It is interesting to know that there are seven ethnic groups in this province, namely the Bukidnon, Hega Onon, Manobo, Matuxalog, Teguahanon, Umayamnon, and the Tala Andig. And here, at the heart of Bukidnon, I found one of them. I'm here at the Tala Andig Ancestral Territory and it's time for a little bit of immersion and a lot of learning. As I entered their Hall of Peace, the Tala Andig folks warmly welcomed me into their community. It is customary that a permission ritual called Pananghid is held before anyone enters their territory. It was both a reassuring and humbling experience as Ba'i Nanapnai, the Tala Andig tribe's cultural master for the School of Living Traditions, and Datu Mampa'ayon, the conflict resolution chief, uttered prayers to the spirits to keep us safe from harm. A chicken was sacrificed as a symbol of protection for the whole community. Even when blood was splattered on the table and on the floor, Datu Mampa Ayon indicated that it was a good sign. He even told us that it might have been responsible for the sudden rain pour that day, which hadn't happened for several months. For fellowship and sharing of spiritual thoughts, we joined and partook in the eating of the cooked chicken. It was a very uplifting experience. After warmly welcoming us to their tribe, they graciously showed us around. I was lucky to meet one of the Tala Andig's pride, Wawai Sawai, who shows his great love for their tribe through the promotion of arts and culture for future generations. But today, it is an absolute honor that I get to meet and jam with him personally. Can you jam a bit? This is a traditional Tala Andig instrument, and it's shaped like a lizard, Katiape. Let's hear it. What a unique way he plays the kadiapi, with a violin bow. Look at how uniquely beautiful that is. When you're in the Tala Andi community, you may soon realize that jamming is really a part of life. They brought me to a very unusual tree house made of bamboo, but imagine this. It is in a bamboo tree. A yes. <laughs> this is so cool. Right now, I'm sitting in a bamboo house in a bamboo tree, and you know, I'm just jamming out with these guys. I'm really feeling the Tala Andig vibe now, and I'm gonna put on some traditional wear here. This is called a pinaksoi, and is really traditional Tala Andig wear. Yeah. <laughs> After my Tala Andig music lessons, we continued with my immersion. This time, it was an uncommon experience for me, planting camotes with a twist. But you know what? It's not just in music Wawai Sawai preserves the culture of the Tala Andig tribe, but through his artworks as well. And mind you, in a rather extraordinary expression of art, soil painting. Yes, painting with soil. Wawai Sawai students taught me how it was done. I'm here actually in Gali Balugs, which is to my left, his balai. And I'm also here with Gali Daryl and Gali Raul. And this is actually a traditional kind of activity here that the Tala Andig tribe does called soil painting. If you look behind me, it's absolutely yeah. beautiful. So what we're going to do is they're going to take us through how to soil paint. So, that's enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> First step. First step, you put the soil in the sudlanan ah. and put the white glue. 
inside. Yeah, you mix good glue, a little amount of glue, and after wet glue, you put uh, water and just slightly water. Oh, yes. After you mix, mix it. Halo halo, no? And yeah, halo halo. Halo halo. Like halo halo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just like earlier today, inspiration. Let's go. Uh, so this piece actually, Gali Balloons, you're just following your heart, right? Yeah. Alright, let's see. Show me some solo painting. <clears throat> what I really love what's watching this right now is uh if you look, you know, look at all the different colors they're using. Again, that's all different styles of soil, right? So it's like nature's natural art. Now it's time to paint and express my feelings. A little bit of dancing, a little bit of singing, a lot of soil painting. Follow your heart, follow your puso. Later that night, I got a chance to bond and witness more of the Talaandig's culture through their songs and dances. It was like having the chance to be one with them, intimately sharing our thoughts and feelings. I actually felt a pinch in my heart to see the children at their early age embodying and embracing their roots, their ideas and their aspirations. The pride of oneself they were showing, it was heartwarming and inspiring. You know, Kulas, I tell you, identity is not confined in a timeline. Talandic identity is not confined from 1990 to year 2000 because identity is infinite. The Talandic people are gentle people. No wonder they are considered peacemakers. They are known and respected for mediating disputes and conflicts in the region. But more than that, I believe that the Tala Andigs are also our mediator between man and Mother Nature. Culture and environment is one. They are bound together, bound together as one. The environment is very important in cultural preservation. Happiness is like, well, happiness is a decision. Right? Cheers to happiness and goodness. I will forever remain grateful to this one-of-a-kind journey and having the chance to commune with these inspiring people. Power on, Tala Andig Republic! Don't know where to go? Check this out. Next on Becoming Filipino, Ha, ha, ha.